What's up guys and today we got the free agent team MVP CJ Spiller ankle breaker and energizer chemistry which does come in handy 511 93 speed 95 agility 93 ball carry 94 juke 70 truck 89 carry 94 excel and 94 elusiveness and also I do not have any chemistry boost with this guy right now so I'm just using his car just straight up also a 93 spin and a uh, 73 stiff arm so obviously not a power back and he does also have an 82 catch which I'll talk more about later so of course the first thing that I'm sure most of you guys have noticed with this car if you use them is his speed man the guy can definitely just hit the outside and just be gone but you know he did get caught maybe a few times but obviously um, he got caught by people that you would expect you know someone like Deion Sanders all those really fast guys but even still you know if you can use him right you know to a zigzag you can definitely, uh, definitely make people miss now like I said before he does have 82 catch and I assume because so many running backs have like 71 72 catch that he would rarely drop the ball if ever not the case he did drop like two wide open passes like right here there were a few times where he would you know you know um I throw the ball to him the ball would plop up in the air and then he would he would have to recatch it and that that just throws off the entire play so very surprising there and as far as the hit sticks he only took like four hit sticks and he fumbled once which is right here so out of four hit sticks with 89 carry one fumble to me that sounds about right when it came to the juke man he had a very respectable juke you know made, made a lot of people miss with that juke move and he's not the type of guy to break a lot of tackles but he's one of those guys that like right here when he breaks one tackle in one play he's gonna break like maybe two more that's just the type of guy he is like right here breaks one tackle then he's gonna break another one that's just you know what I saw from the guy so he may not break a lot of tackles but when he does you'll see him break multiple ones in one play as far as the bad plays and the struggle points you know trying to truck stiff arm with him I had zero success man I kept getting hit stick every time I tried to do it or just knock back so I don't recommend doing that with him but as you can see right here man what I love the most about this guy was he had a nasty nasty spin even though his juke rating is higher than his spin rating for whatever reason man that spin was definitely more successful than the juke no disrespect to the juke I mean if you like to juke with him you can definitely do it I'm just saying for what I could tell it's, it's a lot easier to spin with him than anything else and the best combination with him obviously is to spin and then just use the speed like right here spin past the first guy and then ju just use the speed as best you can to get as many yards as you can afterwards and the energizer chemistry man just makes you able to do you know even more spins back to back so that's gonna wrap this up guys and right now he goes for like 150 and when he first came out I bought him for like 200,000 now he goes for like 150 I'm sure a few more days he'll go to like maybe 120, 130 maybe 110 possibly by the end of the week so if you wanna pick him up right now it's I guess 150 is not terrible but you might wanna um, wait a few more days you might get a, a better price but anyways guys as far as my next review, it's going to be uh, the Combine Will Fuller and the legend uh, Nitschke on defense. And guys, I'll see you boys then. Thanks for watching. Peace.